welcome to another video. On this video we have a 5 series, it's a 3 liter diesel. And we will proceed the reading through the OBD and also writing back after a few modifications of damp. And for that I will use Galetto today. Because the case, from my experience, it have issues. It's not the first time when I have an issue with a uh, case. And once I have surprise when I write back the damp on this ECU, it's a EDC 16C35. The car it cannot communicate with the ECU after that. And this make me to use uh, Galetto all the time when I uh, have to deal with BMW 5 Series. It's a E61 this one. E60, E61. And this is 3 liter. Let's try first on can. So still this car is I believe 2004, 2005, but yes, we will make the reading on can. Switch on. And now let's try to communicate with ECU. Let's see if we have communication or not. Nope. Okay, let's try now on car line to communicate with this car. Let's see which results we have. Noticed we have communication and we will proceed to read the file. PV six two and three liter. As I said, when the files are finished, I will modify the damp and I will put it back. I will come back when everything is finished. And it's almost finished. And I should turn off the dash. That's it, it's, it's everything done, but I believe more, more importantly showing you how we can write this back because it's uh, it's the same procedure we go on the writing files uh, or to show you which damp I will put there, it's anyway it's damp for the flaps, with flaps off, it's better to show you which issue have case, I mean clone, because we use case clone. Okay, I will connect the cast because it's. I believe it's more important to see these issues than to showing you how you can write this down back. And I have everything connected. We will proceed the same on the car line.
and bam errors okay let's try to make the reading only on partial Bam. Because this fucker clone it cannot communicate with this car. It happens to me in many cars on this E60, as I said. E60, E61. I do have few cars where I can communicate with uh, Kes, but usually this happens, or wake up error, or protocol 164. I didn't want to record this, but it's only just for fun to show you also we will write back the dump to this ECU and we will proceed now to write back and after that we'll start the car. We will select again the car. switch on you know to start on the file now we will go to issue connection we do have again connection doesn't stay there. The writing will go much quicker than reading. Don't forget to have your power maintainer. If you don't have a battery maintainer, it will be very dangerous to read and write on the same time and before to write the damn back you should leave the car staying at least 10 minutes anyway you need, need time to modify these files or it depends what are you doing if you make stage one you should leave at least 10 minutes on the sleeping mode and after that you can proceed to write the damp Okay, turn the dash off. Now turn on. Thank you. 
that it's on. And it's finished. Okay. And now we will proceed to start the car. You will switch off. Okay. I will switch it off now. And we will wait for 10 minutes and after that I will disconnect the plug from the flaps and we will start the car. And your plug is over here. You will remove the, uh, the plug from the flaps. And you will start the car. And after removing the flaps, as I said, 10 minutes later, I will put this on and we will start the car. Okay. This car still have problem with VTG module. But I already ordered the VTG and it's on the way. But this we will will be another video. And on that video we will try to make coding with uh, DAGs on let's see how it's work for XTAG. Okay, that's it for this video. As I said, I use this one for E60 and E90 is much better than CAS because CAS, I don't know, it's a good tool also but has a lot of issues. This is the reason why you should use the original tools or only for DIY activity. This is the car for, from a good friend, then if something happens, I have nothing to pay, okay? Be careful. Okay, that's it for this video and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.